for the functional testing, both the courier parcel drop-off and recipient parcel retrieval will be performed. As shown, the courier's mobile screen is displayed on the left side and the recipient's uh, mobile screen is displayed in the right side and of course at the center is the parcel locker. So it begins by the courier performing the parcel drop-off using the mobile app. The courier taps the drop a parcel button to initiate parcel drop-off. First step of the parcel drop-off is to input the recipient's full name. Upon input, search query will be displayed so that the courier will no longer have to input the recipient's full name. And after selecting the corresponding recipient, comes the second step which is to upload a picture of the parcel label information sticker. So the courier has an option to either to open the camera and take a picture of the sticker or select it from the gallery. After taking a picture or selecting the image from the gallery, proceeds to the third step which is to choose a compartment to store the parcel. The square figures represents the individual compartments a color blue compartment indicates that the compartment is available for parcel storage and the color gray indicates that the compartment is currently not available or occupied. After selecting a compartment, a confirmation dialog will be displayed. This allows the courier to review his or her inputs and can go back to the previous steps if there are any corrections. After confirmation, the selected compartment unlocks and the courier can drop the parcel inside. The courier is also reminded to close the compartment door afterwards. After closing, the input details will be then stored to the cloud database and also the recipient will receive a parcel delivery notification message. To further demonstrate the communication between the mobile app into the locker through cloud service, the courier will attempt to make another parcel drop-off to a different recipient. And as expected, compartment 1 is marked as not available or occupied because of the first parcel drop-off. Now, we know that both of the compartments are occupied, the locker system should inform this to the mobile app. As you can see, as the courier attempts to make another parcel drop-off, a dialog message has appeared, no available compartment. Now, this time, the recipient from the first parcel drop-off attempts to make a parcel retrieval. So first, the parcel verification screen will appear containing all the information of the parcel drop-off activity, like the courier's name and company and the date and time uh, of the parcel drop-off and of course the parcel label information picture which helps the recipient to verify the parcel. The recipient can tap on the image to expand the image. And so after verifying, a QR code key will be shown and the recipient should allow the locker's QR code scanner to scan the encrypted QR code to unlock the compartment. And then the compartment unlocks and the location is also displayed in the mobile app. At this instance, the recipient did not close the compartment door after retrieving the parcel. This should begin the 20 seconds countdown before the buzzer alarm sounds. After closing the compartment door, that concludes the parcel retrieval and the courier also receives the successful parcel delivery notification message. And that's the end of the functional testing.